Hello everyone, this is Paul. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sketch a line by plotting points. So I went ahead and wrote down a line here, y equals 2x plus 1. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to pick some x components and we're going to find the corresponding y component and then from that information we'll build a point and plot it on our graph. And after we get a few points we can sketch the line. So let's start with the x component, negative 2. We want to find the corresponding y component to the x component. So the way we do that is we rewrite this equation up here, y equals 2x plus 1. But this time we specified that our x component was a negative 2. So we write negative 2 in the place of x. And then we simply add the 1. Now we simplify this. 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4. And then we add the 1. So now we have y equals negative 4 plus 1, or simply y equals negative 3. So negative 3 is the y com component that corresponds to the x component of negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and write this negative 3 right here. And putting both of these components together gives us the point negative 2 negative 3. So we're going to go ahead and plot this now. So going over negative 1, negative 2 in the x direction and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 in the y direction gives us our first point of the line right here. So let's move over one unit to the right for our x component. So we'll start with the x component negative 1 and we're going to find the corresponding y component. So we just do the same process, y equals 2x plus 1, and this time our x is negative 1, and then we add the 1. 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 2, adding the 1, and so y is simply negative 2 plus 1 gives us a negative 1. So now negative 1 is the y component that corresponds to x equals negative 1, giving us the point negative 1, negative 1. Going back to our graph, plotting the point negative 1, negative 1, starting at the origin, negative 1 in the x direction, negative 1 in the y direction gives us the point right here. And connecting these two dots gives us the first part of our line. So let's just go ahead and draw another point and we'll use the x component 0. So we want to find the y component here. Let's actually start right there. Let's just say y equals 2x plus 1 again since that's the line we're dealing with. But in this case our x is 0. So y is 2 times 0 or simply y equals 0 and then plus the 1. So then y equals 1 is the y component corresponding to x equals 0, giving us the point 0, 1. The x component of 0 is here, and then counting up one unit in the y direction for the y component gives us another extension of our line. We'll do another one here. We'll move over one unit to the right in the x direction, and then we'll just do y equals 2x plus 1 again, and this time our x is 1, and then we simply add the 1. So 2 times 1 gives us 2, plus the 1, and 2 plus 1 simply gives us 3. 3 is the y component corresponding to x equals 1, giving us the point 1, 3. So moving over one unit in the x direction, it puts us here, and then three units up in the y direction moves us one, two, three to there. And simply we have another continuation of our line. And we could keep on going, going up two, three, four, five in the x, and that would extend our line this direction. If we went down to negative three, negative four, negative five in the x, that would simply extend our line in this direction. We just would pretty much have to repeat this process for each of the x components we chose, and it would give us a corresponding y component, which would help us to draw the points. So we can see already how this line looks. 
just going to go ahead and just kind of sketch it out longer there. But basically, this is how you sketch a line by plotting points. So stay tuned, pretty soon I'm going to show you how to sketch a line by using slope intercept form, which is a much more convenient, faster way to do this type of procedure. But anyway, for now this is a good way to learn about lines and how the components work together and basically why a line is what it is. So thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed my videos, please subscribe and I'll be making more soon. And have a great day.